Next up, I want to talk about Pokestarter. I was watching uh, Satoshi Stacker. He's a YouTuber, got a pretty good channel, and uh, he was talking about it. And I was always, I'm always sucked into uh, great conversations. And I thought, what the heck is that? I like Polkadot. I got Polkadot. So what's Pokestarter? Well, Pokestarter, uh, the people who brought that to us, they believe that projects like Uniswap and Compound have issues, especially in terms of scalability. And talk about Ethereum network with their fees, the slow performance, and um, people get frustrated. So yeah, there is definitely an issue there. I can tell you that from experience. So what do we want? Well, users want cheap transactions, ultra fast swaps, user-friendly design, that's for sure. And the possibility to buy and move assets between blockchains. That's what we want. Sure. So what are they going to do? They're going to bring to us Pokestarter, permissionless decks built for cross-chain token pools and auctions, enabling projects to raise capital on a decentralized and interoperable environment based on Polkadot. So you're going to be able to have decentralized projects. We'll be able to raise and exchange capital cheap and fast. Users will be able to participate in a secure and compliant environment and use assets that go beyond ERC-20 standard. Great. So this is going to be a DEX, a decentralized exchange. Here's the use cases. Fundraising. Startups can raise funds on a secure platform. Auctions. Token pools will include bid auctions. And OTC, close OTC deals with password protection. So this is interesting because it's a decentralized exchange and it talks about having full KYC uh, integration, a governance model like other DEXs do. Permissionless listing. So that's interesting because you know the permission listing. With permissionless listing, you can have the real tokens and also scam tokens. This is the same thing that happens over at Uniswap. But you can do cross-chain swaps, which is interesting. Interesting. Fixed and dynamic swap, anti-scam features. Well, let's see how that works out with the permissionless listing. I'd like to see, I'd love to see that actually. And here's how it ranks up. So you got Pokestar, Uniswap, Prima Block. I don't know that one. Bounce, I don't definitely know that one. So you got cross-chain pools, supports any asset, governance model, fixed pools, whitelisted pools. Great. And they got all that and Uniswap doesn't have it. Of course, that's what you're going to say. Sure. So, I mean, look pretty promising. Here's the roadmap. Something's going to happen in Q4. And permissionless listing, fixed token swap, private pools, anti-scam features. So all this stuff's going to happen in Q4, which is October, November, December, right now. Q1, they're going migra to migrate to the Polkadot multi-chain swaps. Q2, they're going to, it looks like they're going to give out governance tokens, and then they have a DAO, Q3, Q4, 21. So everything's going to happen moving forward. So that's great. And it goes to some other things. So I'm interested in it. It looks pretty cool, but there's some problems I see, and this is what I got. So if you scroll all the way down, you can, you can look at their team, right? So here's the founders. I don't know. It just says, this is our founders. I'm hoping there's more to this team, but this is what they got. They got two guys, Daniel Stockhouse and Tiago Martins. Well, who the heck are these guys? Well, Dan, well Daniel here, I had to take a little, little search because it just says serial tech entrepreneur, scaled companies over a million users and 20 million over successful exit. And Tiago, passionate, product builder and senior software engineer with successful exit. Great, fantastic. What have you done? Sorry, but that's what I got to ask. So looked up LinkedIn. Here's Daniel Stockhouse, and here's what he's done. So I look up here, co-founder, June 2020. I mean, this is right. They're just making this thing, right? And it's been five months. Here's where he's at. He was also the co-founder of Olifant, LIGO, and Fitch. So Olifant, they're a digital agency, passionate about the things we do to help our clients grow. And they do like e-commerce websites, content marketing campaign. They pretty much just, just build out funnels for websites, right? They also do, I mean, or, or they build websites. Great. So he did that for, looks like 19 years. Wow. He was part of Lego. It's an e again, an e-commerce site, 5.5 million annual visitors, up to 20 million annual turnover. So, okay, this guy's can, you know, we can build a company. Great. Onto the scale of what we're going to see. Who knows? And then we've got Tiago Martins. Remember, this is the CTO. So he started being the CTO as of September 2020, last month, lead developer in CoFlit, uh, Bet Protocol, Coin Vision. Because I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, well, CoFlit, what's that? It's a leading general aviation aircraft management platform. All right. Product advisor for Bet Protocol, new online gaming standard, fairness and fairness and transparency. All right. Coin Vision, this is probably the most related to cryptocurrency digital assets, building the leading crypto research and education company. So let's take a look at that. And then he was also an instructor for Ruby and Python. So he definitely knows about coding. Great. So we take a look at this. Coin Vision, designed to help new investors understand the cryptocurrency market. We'll take a little visit the website. And that's never good. So look, I'm just an investor. I'm not a trader. I don't like to trade. I need to minimize risks. And uh, I'd like to do more sure things. I mean, there's nothing really sure in any investment. That's just the way it is. But you try to look at the most positive things that you can. And for this one, it sounds good, but I'm gonna pass on it right now. I don't know 
what else to tell you on this one. Uh, take a look at Satoshi Stacker. He did a really good, vi good video, but for me personally, I just got a pass. I mean, not to say that I won't change my mind. I looked at uh, Polkadot and I had originally passed on that one and I did a little deeper dive and I said, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'll probably get into that. And I did, I, I, I keep buying uh, Polkadot, but mainly because of Gavin Wood, who was one of the co-founders of Ethereum. And that's a smart guy. That's a guy I can believe in. He's already done it once. Why couldn't he do it again? On the other, on the flip side, again, it's not what you know, it's who you know, and I just, don't know about this one so that's it for today so thanks a lot for sticking with me to the end of the video i really appreciate it if you like these types of videos let me two months gonna pop up on your left and right and i'll try to link to the videos that we just talked about and that's it for today so have a great rest of your sunday and i'll see you on the next one